everyone and welcome back to my channel. For anyone who is new here, my name is Jordan and I am what I call a self-proclaimed beauty guru. I do unboxings, makeup reviews, try on hauls, uh, skincare, body care, everything that you can possibly think of, fragrance. Um, and I try to keep up with all the TikTok trends and different makeup techniques and everything. So if you're new here and you like this content, please keep watching. Hit the subscribe notifications bell because I upload weekly. And I also wanted to give a big thank you to all of my subscribers, new and old, for hitting 300 plus subscribers. Um, I really appreciate it so much. I know that I have sent out... Um, I had sent out like a big thank you little video, a little short for 200 and then I hit 300 so then I was like, you know what, I'm just going to thank them in person. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and I really appreciate it and there's a lot more to come. I have so many more videos set up to come. You guys have no idea but there will be a lot more. There is no boredom on this channel ever. So today what we're going to be doing is another full face of new uh, makeup and we're going to be reviewing it and I'm going to be testing and trying it out for you so without further ado let us get moving I think most of this is all from Sephora or close to it um yeah I don't think I think most of it is from Sephora and I have a full box here so uh yeah we have a lot to review so let's get to it all right guys, today to get started, I really just wanted to shout out to the new face gym. I'm really, really impressed with this. This is the Skin Changer 2-in-1 Exfoliating Succinic Acid and Pumpkin Extract Essence Toner. Um, and you get a decent amount too. Let me see, the price is... The price is $49, but you get this entire amount. This is 3.4 fluid ounces. I just started using this, and I really, really like how it makes my skin feel. It helps my skin glow. I don't know if you guys can notice, like, this isn't oil, this is glow. Literally from this stuff, it's just really good at exfoliating. Um, it's a powerful essence toner hybrid with a triple action formulation for multi-level exfoliation, targeted blemish care, and intense hydration. Anyone who knows me and have been watching my videos knows that I have really blemish prone skin, obviously. So the succinic acid, which I've heard a lot of good about from a lot of dermatologists that I watch on YouTube, reduces the look of blemishes and spots and helps to vis visibly reduce pore size. Pumpkin extract helps visibly clear and strengthen skin while improving tightness and firmness. And then the quince leaf extract reduces the appearance of pores and improves the look of skin texture. And you can use this, I think, twice a day and you just pat it on your face. And it just feels so freaking good. I've used it a couple times already and I really, really like it. You're supposed to put this on before you do any of your skincare. So you use this and then you do your skincare and it really helps everything to just kind of settle in and really absorb into your skin so i'm really really excited i really like this stuff it's brand spanking new from face gym i've never tried anything else from them but this one really stuck out to me and i'm not gonna lie it's because of the succinic acid because i've heard so much good about this about that specific acid so um another thing that i'm gonna use for you guys right here is the oil control mattifying mist from volition i really really love this stuff especially for summer but anytime um I, a lot of times i'll put this on like after i do my skincare and my spf and all of that i always put this on and it just really keeps the oil off of my face and really helps to just keep me matte which is what i need you don't need much and it's got like a nice little light floral scent and I really love this brand. I don't know if anyone's tried Volition. They have really nice masks and skincare and things like that. But it dries down fast. It's really light and it just helps to keep like the oil at bay and not poke through everything. Um, another thing I really like that I wanted to shout out is the SkinCeuticals Antioxidant Lip Repair. It's restorative treatment for damaged or aging lips. It's antioxidants, vitamin E, and silly marine help prevent environmental damage while smoothing and rehydrating lip and vermilion borderlines to counteract premature aging lip tissue wrinkling. I used to be a smoker, so I love this stuff. You only need the tiniest amount, 
and you just put it on and it feels so good I put this on before I put any any like lipstick or anything on and it just keeps my lips so hydrated it really really does help to repair any um, like fine lines or any kind of wrinkles or it just makes your lips feel so good and it really really seems to heal the skin barrier so it's from SkinCeuticals a little more of an expensive brand but it's worth a shout out if you have those issues like I do because it's really really good stuff um, another thing I wanted to point out is my self tan that I did I really enjoy it um, I just did it like the other day now it's a little lighter on my face because I put so much stuff on my face but it's from Bondi Sands I use this little sample this is the Bondi Sands in ultra dark but once you wash it off it's not that ultra dark I mean I used it for a few hours and then washed it off I mean you can do it again you can do more but I didn't want to do too dark or anything so this was perfect got a little sample it smells good lasts forever it works really good and then I topped it with this Bondi Sands liquid gold self tanning dry oil it's coconut scent so it just kind of kept my skin moisturized while I self tan because I don't know about you guys but self tanning sometimes makes my skin feel really dry so this stuff th that combination here worked really really good and they had a huge 4th of July sale, so I went ham and got it. Um, and also, I want to do a shout out to their little back. Um, this is a back self-tanning applicator. And I don't know about all of you, but like I can reach pretty far in my back and stuff. But the little middle part there, I just have such a hard time getting to. So this really, really helps a lot. You just put a little bit on and you can just reach your back, no problem. And it's so nice. Like... It, it is so nice. You have two sides. This is more of like a sponge side. I like this side. This is more of like a velvet side. And it just applies and you just wash it afterwards and it's fine. And yeah, I only kept it on for like four hours and I got like a nice little suntan. Like what I would normally get at the pool. It's been like, we're in the East Coast and it's been like cold and rainy lately. So we were going to go to the pool today and I would naturally get a tan. Um, but no. So I'm going to try primers for you guys. I have a really cool one from Kaiser Wise, I think is how you say it. Um, I think it's like a Swiss or it's an Italian brand. And she is like a um, she's like a celebrity makeup artist and she has these primers. They're very expensive. If you go on um, I think it's Beautylish, they sell them there. It's very, very expensive, but I got the beautiful primer. For, as a sample so I'm gonna try it super bougie celebrity line I think this one is like this primer alone this Kajer wise one beautiful primer it's $55 for that so I got a sample of it cold pressed olive oil lavender water flower some kind of weird flower extract known as nature's Botox something like that so um, it's supposed to be for all skin types that's how much I got a lot and that's what it looks like it's interesting yeah it feels like a face lotion like you could literally just bypass lotion on your face all right I'm just putting it on three days later it didn't even look like it was gonna be that much but see how that stuff that um, skinceuticals antioxidant lip repair just like makes your lips look so good and juicy it definitely gives you like a luminous glow but it's made for all skin types. That's what it says, that's what it claims. Okay, hubby just bought me, brought me coffee. I live off coffee. I'm basically just coffee and breakfast bars. My skin is living proof that more expensive is not better for sure. This stuff is so, like, it's very, very oily, very, 
oily. It's supposed to be for all skin types, but I'm thinking that they forgot about oily skin types because I would not, I would literally not use this stuff again. It's very, very, very oily. So, oh yeah, guys, do you like my shirt? I like it. So, what we're going to try now is the Very Valentino Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 26 Light Lasting Perfecting Foundation. This is their new foundation. I got a sample of it. Helps prevent sunburn for sunscreen use. Comes in these different... Comes in those different ones. This isn't the only one I'm using, but I'm going to just, just try it out and see what it looks like on skin. For starters, it's definitely very nice and light and feels like kind of like watery but grippy. I don't know. It's weird. Now, I know that Valentino makeup gets like mixed reviews, but I don't mind it. So this is a sunscreen light and foundation in one. SPF 26. I would like it if it had like a little more SPF to it. Um, but yeah, just to show you guys how it's applying, it does apply nicely. It doesn't like apply oily or anything. It is really nice. Like the texture isn't bad. I put some on my hand. Like the texture is not bad at all. I actually get like the full size of that because of the fact that it's nice for vacation, it's nice for the pool or anything. It doesn't feel like much of anything on my skin. And it's got the added protection of SPF. Like I'll still put my regular SPF one that I love. I have like a bunch of different ones that I like, but yeah, it didn't do bad. I mean, I don't think it's meant to cover like camouflage stuff, but it's it's a definitely a demi matte, demi matte, and I really like it. Great. This is the Tarte um, 26 Light Medium Neutral. It's the Amazonian um, Amazonian Clay Blurring Powder Foundation. It's new from Tarte, and this is the foundation brush that comes with it. It's like the slanted Kabuki brush, and this is what it looks like. So we're gonna put use this as like our main foundation. Ooh, this brush feels nice. We're gonna use this as our main foundation, but I wanted to show that little sample I got of the Valentino. And this brush is amazing. It feels so good. It feels like it's just gliding. The makeup on, so nice. Yes, I love this. Tarte has really been stepping it up. Like, they really have been coming out with some new, unique, trending like viral products so yeah this is the foundation i absolutely love it and it's kind of like covered up that greasy mess that that other stuff made but what do you guys think i think it covered up so good and it's like a very natural coverage 24 hour buildable wear real quick i do have the dior backstage um, a new concealer, Flash Perfector Concealer. I really, really like this stuff. And, um, let's put this on. I, lo I love, like, the brush application. So I'm going to try, like, the uplift. Like, it's supposed to, like, lift your eye. We're going to try that out. That's something that's from TikTok. So we're going to try that baby out. We'll do that and then I got the one size here it's the sculpt trio and it's in light so we're gonna try using this to um kind of like do like the lifting look that you get from blending like all this stuff together so I'm just gonna put it on with a small brush for now and Go from there.
This is what gives like the lifting action. And then the main thing that works, makes that work perfectly is using our Makeup HD setting powder. This is the Makeup Forever HD setting powder. Love this stuff. I wanted to shout out to it again because it is so freaking good. So. And it just gives you like that upswept look, which I am very excited about. All right, so the little TikTok trick I've been doing that I really, really like and I'm trying to perfect it even more is you just dip your fingers in your bronzer and go like that. So much easier than trying to blend it out. And then of course we do our powder to kind of like tone it down. Yas. All right, and then we're gonna bake underneath the eyes. I still do that, I like to do it. It really does help with fallout or, and like really setting the under eyes. Like, do you ever have the makeup where you literally, do you have the eyes where literally no matter what you do, you get makeup underneath, like makeup crumbs or anything like under the eye? This literally just stops that from happening because it bakes the eye and sets everything really good so nothing like can stick on it. That means the world to me. So it really works well for me and I really want my makeup to stay today because I'm going away and I don't want, I don't want to come out with like, look at, looks like I'm crying lash crumbs. <laughs> lash crumbs, whatever. Then I'm going to use this Jaclyn Hill and I just use these powders to like just set the under eye. It's so nice kind of make sure that you don't get that like I said mascara crumbs or anything else and it really really helps whoa look at that also it really helps to take any like dark lines or anything away which I love all right so we're gonna dust off all this stuff, this is just a BU Beauty blush brush, but I'm using it to dust this off. And look. Now I like a more modest nose contour, so that just did like the perfect job. Like, look at that. I have a little bit of dry skin there, so I can't help that, but. Yeah, it just did like the perfect nose contour. That's not too much. So what I normally do after I do like the nose contour trick is the tip. I will just do like my own little bit just to like give it that cute little, cute little end that I like. Then I kind of just go over it a little bit with a sponge to kind of just you know, blend it in a bit, make it look like not crazy. All right guys, another new product that I want to show you is I did end up getting the Fenty by Rihanna. I did get her Toasted Swirl Bronze Shimmer Powder. So now we're gonna be bronzing everywhere. This is for extra warmth and a pop of shimmer. Give your skin the ultimate sun-kissed glow. Everything Fenty always is amazing. So I am excited about this. Here it is. Is it broken? I see a mess already and I just opened it. It's fucking broken. <sighs> oh. 
All right, well, I'm gonna try to use it anyway. So we're just gonna dip in and we're going to swirl it around. You can tell I'm already kind of bummed about it already because of that. But we're gonna dip in and see about this warmth and glow that they're talking about. That's very nice. It's, it's I mean, it's a nice warmth and glow, but I'm really pissed about this being broken. This stuff isn't cheap. I mean, it gives a nice warmth and glow, but guys, look at that. It literally looks like cereal. No, I'm not pissed at all. I'm getting over it. No big deal. I'm just gonna put my brow freeze on. This is the Anastasia brow freeze that I got off TikTok. TikTok fucking made me do it. Again. I should just make a whole video on all the stuff that TikTok has made me do. This Armani, Giorgio Armani Neo Nude Blush. This was a newer color they had gotten. Um, number 50. I really like this color. It looks so pretty. So I'm going to put this on. This stuff is a liquid blush. Professional face blush. So I'm going to just put this on here and see what this is like. It's like a very nice, pretty color. The little colors that I like and um, perfect for like summer. So let's just blend it. It's very, very light, holy crap. And there's not like much on my brush. Army Mint my Beauty Blender. Is this gonna be a bad makeup day? Like a bad makeup film or what? Maybe I got too light of a color for how tan I am right now as well. And we'll just use like a regular brush and see if we can't just kind of blot it on. We can always use our fingers too, but I try not to use my fingers because I break out over that. <laughs> it's great. Uh, not really that happy about this blush. This is blush number 50, but I do have something that might save us. This is the RMS blush. I got this a while ago. Well, not a while ago. It's still new, but a Hydra powder blush, and it's also refillable, which is nice, and I did get this color in Hanky Panky. I wanted to get all the colors, but I had so many other blushes that I bought, and I literally I'm running out of room for blush, but look at this packaging and then look at that blush. Okay, this might just save us. Shine to it. Yes, I think this might have saved us guys. Might have saved us. So this is what it looks like if you swatch it on the finger. That is so pretty. I'll try it on like this. What is that shadow? What is the shadow? But whatever. Yes, okay, now this is some, this is the level I was talking about. Now we're gonna blend it up a bit more to like do that lift look. That's really pretty. It's like a pat it's like a blush and highlighter in one. You won't even need the blush. So I'm just gonna blend it a bit more. It's really pretty, you guys. Really, really pretty. Now I'm gonna put some P. Louise eye base on because I have some eyeshadows that I want to show you. Some single ones. I've been noticing that it's becoming more of the trend now to get single ones instead of palettes. Because so many palettes, I mean, there's only so many color stories you can make anymore. And I feel like everyone has like all the colors now. So they're just buying individual unique ones. So I did find some nice individual unique ones. I'm using like a light color of the base. Um, 
that I'm going to try out, but you know, to maximize the way it looks on your eyes, a lot of good ideas to do is to do like a light color, or if it's like a dark color eyeshadow, do a black base. I do have the P. Louise black base as well. I am showing you guys the brand. It is called Ritual De Fill. Fill or Filet, I'm not sure how you say it. That is literally how it's spelled, Ritual De Fill. And this is an actual highlighter. They hand make everything. It's a women owned brand. They hand make everything. This is called the Chimera Metamorphic Highlighter. Um, I actually have a few from them, but this is one that I'm gonna try today. Look at how pretty that is. It's like a green. It's got like some green in it. They hand fill everything and they make it right there. So that's what it looks like. And I also have some eyeshadows I want to show you guys, but look at that. So blinding. Oh my god. I'm just gonna put like the tiniest bit down my nose because I still I will always like that. I don't care what the trend is. I will always like that. But look at how pigmented that is. And it's like a nice it's like a nice cream formula, but it dries down very nicely. And it just gives you that multi-faceted shift. That beautiful wet look. I absolutely love it. I really, really love this brand. It's a smaller brand. A lot of people don't know about it. You can't get it on Sephora. I found it on Instagram. And, um... I was really, really impressed with the different formulations and the colors. Everything is just beautiful. So they have these eyeshadow soots is what they call them, and they come in these pots. So I got four of the colors, and I'm going to try all four of the colors for you guys, and I shall swatch them for you. So these are called the Celestial Sphere Eye Soots. It's like a gel. Right, this is what it looks like. It comes in these little bottles. So cute. And you just kind of twist open the cap. And it is a jelly, like. That's what it looks like. Focus. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch them. Now I have nails on, so I'm probably just going to swatch with a brush. Like, there's the first one. That's the one I just showed you guys. A very light jelly, but oh my god, the reflections are insane. So I'm going to be using these today for my eye look. Let me open up the next one, and I'll swatch it. They all come in this packaging. This one is called Aura, and it's the second one. I like just kind of smeared it all over, um, but that's what it looks like. So pretty. The reflex are amazing. So Andromeda, now I don't know if they're saying them all right, but it's like an amethyst, very, very beautiful with like a black kind of like undertone to it. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's just gorgeous. Um, Look at that. <laughs> so excited. You guys have no idea how beautiful this is. I'm trying to show you. That is so pigmented, but look at that. Focus. Focus. Look at that. Oh my god. It's got such beautiful reflex. Just like so beautiful and pigmented. So I'm just putting this one in the middle and this one is the Aura. It's like a pink yellow, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. And I know TikTok went crazy with a color like this before. Um, but 
this is just a different brand. I think that one was from some other cosmetic place, but that's so gorgeous. It's just like the very lightest iridescence, but I absolutely love it. This little one here, this is Pixis. This one had like more blue. So I'm just gonna put that like in here. Yas. That is so pretty. Can you imagine wearing that out or anything? Like, I'm definitely getting Euphoria vibes from this makeup. Like, it's it's so gorgeous. And it just goes on so nicely. This, like, amethyst one is called Andromeda. And I will just do that, like, in here. So pretty. So yeah, I re I recommend using a smaller brush, of course, or your finger if you don't have nails, and just sliding it on. And I love that it's like a jelly, so it gives you like that wet look, and it gives you like a wet sheen. That is just so gorgeous. All right, and then last but not least, my absolute favorite one. This is the Rose. This is the Rosa. Look at that. That's just like dewy gel perfection. It's beautiful. And like the different faucets. Oh my god. I don't even think there's a camera in the world that can show how many there are. But it is just gorgeous. We're going to keep this show rolling. I got from Lady Gaga. I got the uh, um, Optic Intensity Echo Eyeliner. I love it. These new eyeliners that she's come out with, I have one other color, no, two other colors. And the reason I love so much is because they have these little brushes at the end that are amazing at smudging out. And I got the pink one. I really wanted this one badly. I have everything like pink from her right now because they're really pretty colors. So this one is called Magenta Shimmer. So let's go ahead and put this in here. I love some good pink liner. just really brings out the eyes. So nice. It's so nice. Look at that. So pretty. Mwah. So to a little bit of a cheaper brand, a little bit of a cheaper option, but a good brand. The NYX Epic Wear Eyeliner, I just have to give a shout out to this and I'm going to use it. It's so easy to use, the applicator is so nice, and the one thing that stands out so much about this liner is it will literally stay on forever. Like you can't get it off. I have to definitely use a makeup remover. A makeup remover to get it off because it will not come off like it stays I literally went got a shower it was still on from the morning I went and um went to the gym still on got a shower still on so guys it 
<laughs> you have to use a you have to literally use a makeup remover to get it off another cool thing that I wanted to showcase that I got from Dior is their waterproof 24 hour intense color felt tip and I got it in this beautiful pink look at that that is such a beautiful pink um, I've been really looking forward to trying this let me just show you guys like look at that color That is so pretty. So I'm gonna just like put that on top of here. Just to like add to the pink. I really like the light color of it. It is so pretty. It's waterproof, 24 hours. I like really love this color. It is so gorgeous. Yes, so pretty. Now I know my eyeliner is a bit of a mess. This is a bad eyeliner day, but that is a really pretty color. So we are going to be trying this new mascara. It is called the One Size Fantas Eyes Ultimate Lifting and Lengthening Mascara from Patrick Star from One Size. I love his brand. We were gonna try this stuff because y'all know I have like no eyelashes. But we're gonna see if it's worth the hype. That's the wand. It's another one that's just not happening. It's like kind of clumpy. It's definitely for thickening. Definitely not for lengthening. see it all right so sometimes if I'm really desperate this is what I do this is my little Shiseido liner so I already have the mascara on so it kind of is almost like a glue or it makes them like stiffened so that they will curl easier because they're not as silky by themselves they have like an emollient on which is the mascara so let's see if I can at least get it done this way This is just gonna be one of those days, guys. But no, I don't see the hype in that at all. All right, so anyway, I'm gonna use this KKW liner in Mauve 1, and I'm gonna show you guys some. New lipsticks. All right, this is the Dior Attic Lip Tint, and this is in Natural Rosewood. I really like the color, it's so pretty. I've been wanting to try it for you guys for so long, so I never even used it yet. So this is the packaging, always so sleek and beautiful. That's the color, and let's try it. It 
goes on so nice and cold and like so almost like watery that is such a pretty color it feels like nothing's on my lips at all how nice that highlighter is that is so pretty all right and then I wanted to show this buxom this is the new tipsy scoop full-on plumping lip cream this is what the package it comes in they came out with like a new ice cream type of line thing and it's in this color I got in a pinker one but I wanted to try this one right here this one is called vanilla bean bourbon all of their stuff smells so good like desserts. And this is literally just a lip cream and it's very plumping and it's it just feels so comfortable. So let's try this over top. Mm, smells so good. That's pretty. It's just like adds that nice little glossy gloss to your lip color and it plumps so nicely. All right, let's do our little hangover setting spray three in one because I really want all of this to stay. All right guys, so let me put you out here. So this is the finished look with all of these new brands that I've tried. I really, really like it, um, but we do have some flops. So the Virtual Do Fill, of course, I love. I think it's so pretty. I mean, that highlighter and those eyes, like there are so many faucets I've got to fix this there are so many faucets of colors on there it is just so pretty in the inner corner oh god and then on top of it I really love the highlighter of course um, we I love the face gym this stuff is just doing miracles to my skin the mattifying control so good this isn't even oily this is literally just the shine from my broken Fenty stuff so I'm very disappointed in how it came but I'm sure it's a good product if it would just have come non-broken so that's I did get the color chocolate swiller and you know it did do what it said it just did it broken um, don't recommend that face primer unless you're like super oily and love really thick creamy primers uh, of course the Pla flash perfector concealer from dior was wonderful i think it did give me the lifted look a little bit um don't like this fantasize like it's not really doing anything i mean i know i don't have much lashes but you know we can do something i do have some um I really like this Tarte Smoothing Foundation. If you haven't gotten it, I would get it. It's really, really nice. It lasts all day. Um, of course, the One Size Sculpting Trio. I love this one in light. The Dior Pink uh, Eyeliner is perfect. Always like the NYX. NYX, check that out. It's only 10 bucks each. It'll last like through everything like you will literally have to use a makeup remover so make sure you have one unless you want eyeliner on for days because it won't come off um and then this dior liner that's so freaking pretty i love the lady gaga liner so good as usual p louise base so nice so good we'll keep it on forever love this lip color it feels so good and then the lip plumper on top from Buxom, their um, tipsy scoop, like their ice cream collection is so pretty. 
Um, and then of course the KKW Beauty, but as we know, you cannot get this anymore until she gets her site finished up. Let's go, Kim. Like, I know you're not watching this video probably, but can you please just get it up? This is Lip Liner in Mauve 1. The RMS Beauty Blush saved us. Like, that was absolutely gorgeous. One more look. And, um, of course, you know, the self-tanning. Bondi Sands, love them. No, I'm not sponsored. I just love them. Not sponsored by anything. The Jaclyn Hill is always good as far as like the light, um, the brightening and setting palette for under eyes. Very, very good. Like this will stay all day and you won't have mascara crumbs coming down. Um, I think that pretty much says everything. Oh yeah, this best, best lip product ever. Antioxidant lip repair. Don't sleep on it. It's beautiful. It better not go anywhere. And um, yeah, the brow, Anastasia Brow Freeze, of course, is like fastly becoming my favorite brow product. And of course, the Makeup Forever Professional um, Setting Powder, Matte Setting Powder. You can't do better than that. Like, that's just amazing. Um, and then the Giorgio Armani Neo Nude Blush. I think this is going to have to be for like pale days or a pale thing or whatever because this isn't working for this tan at all so maybe for like winter um i'll try it again and see how it goes but other than that i think that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed this new makeup unboxing i hope there's some things that you guys found that you liked um some not all of it's sephora some of it's different brands but it's always good to just see what else is out there and play around and find out all the beauty that's out there because there's a lot more than just Sephora. There's a lot of indie brands too. I'm going to be doing a haul on indie on an indie brand that I found that I really like, actually a couple. So um, stay tuned if you like this content. Um, hit subscribe, hit the notifications bell. Stay tuned. I post weekly. If you like this look, um, I'll have everything posted underneath and all the links so that you'll be able to uh, go ahead and check out the brands. They are amazing for, you know, the ones that I said that were amazing. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.